So, ladies and gentlemen, we woke up to something very, very interesting here, and I've actually had a few of you guys bring this to my attention, but Niantic actually responded to the community backlash that is the Pokemon Go fan base. Let's see what it is they have to say here. Maybe for once, they'll do the right thing and own their shit? A response to our Pokemon Go community. To our Pokemon Go community, we appreciate your letter and all of your feedback. We hear you. We are humbled by your response. Not every game has such a passionate global player base that we're fortunate enough to have. Like everyone else around the world, our team has been working very hard to adapt to the global health environment. The recent exploration bonus changes we made in the US and New Zealand are designed to restore some of the foundational elements players enjoyed prior to 2020 and reward players once again for moving and exploring. Encouraging people to explore, exercise, and safely play together in person remains Niantic's mission. The health and well-being of players is our top priority, which is why we have implemented the new exploration bonuses in select geographies where it is deemed safe to be outdoors. Research has shown that taking walks outside is safe and confers several health benefits. Furthermore, encouraging outdoor exploration is in keeping with Niantic's mission. That said, we will continue to monitor health and safety guidance related to outdoor activities and will make future changes if necessary. We have heard your feedback about one change in particular, that of the Pokestop and Gym Interaction Distance. We reverted the interaction distance from 80 meters back to the original 40 meters, starting in the US and New Zealand because we want people to connect to real places in the real world and to visit places that are worth exploring. However, we have heard your input loud and clear and so to address the concerns you have raised, we are taking the following actions. We are assembling an internal cross-functional team to develop proposals designed to preserve our mission of inspiring people to explore the world together while also addressing specific concerns that have been raised regarding interaction and distance. We will share the findings of this task force by the next in-game season change September 1st. As part of this process, we will also be reaching out to community leaders in the coming days to join us in this dialogue. Our goal is to build fun and engaging experiences that remain true to our mission. And we thank you for challenging us with thoughtful and constructive feedback. The Niantic team. Okay, I'm on the verge right now of running down to the giant tiger store and buying a huge bundle of toilet paper because this blog post right here was complete fecal matter. None of what you said gave us any clarity as to why you did what you did. You make the excuse that, you know, oh, we want people to explore. Oh, we want people to go outside and all that stuff. Here's the thing, even with the 80 meters radius, people still can go outside and explore. But the thing is, is that those who can't, because if they are either in lockdown or say if they have a physical disability of some kind, you know, they'll be able to reap the benefits of the exploration as well with the 80 meters interaction radius. And not to mention as well, there's also social distancing. There's also being safe from trespassing into a potentially dangerous area. There's also the prevention of trespassing into an area and being disruptive, like say during church services and all that stuff. But it, it seems like you completely glossed over like 99.9% .9 of the details and the reasoning as to why the community reached out at you in the first place. However, with the removal of the 80 meters radius, you are not only putting your own players at risk in some way, shape, and form, whether it is related to the pandemic, whether it is related to a disability of some kind, trespassing, what have you, you have essentially taken something that had little to no cons at all and decided to remove it 
for no logical reason whatsoever. Like now people aren't going to be able to enjoy the game as much, if not at all, if they are in those type of compromising situations. Like seriously, you don't need a fucking month or a task force to reverse one simple little change. You made the change within a day, you can certainly reverse that change within that day as well. Like, come on, throw me a bone here. And it just goes to show once again, Niantic, how disingenuous and full of crap you guys are because you don't appreciate our feedback, you never listen to us. And number two, you say you hear us, but all I'm getting out of this whole letter is we hear you, but fuck off and keep giving us our money. That's what I get from this. And need I remind you that the reason why Niantic has made $5 billion off of Pokemon Go is 100% because of the fans. It is because of the fans that Pokemon Go is the worldwide success that it was and still, quite frankly, is. I mean, we can't argue with the stats. It is extremely successful. But all of that successes comes from one place, and that is the fan base of Pokemon Go. And hell, Pokemon Master Holly said it best. It takes a village to raise a child. That village being the fan base, and the child being the Pokemon Go game. But yeah, you know what? <laughs> At this point, uh, I don't think we should hold our breath anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, we will die of suffocation. So... Yeah, um, I guess, uh, I guess that's, uh, it for right now, uh, but I'll keep you guys in the loop in case anything else does happen, so, yeah, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm disappointed in Niantic, but I am not surprised in the slightest. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, leave your thoughts down below, I always love to hear you guys out. Thank you guys very much for watching, thank you very much for your time as well. Have yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.